My name is Laura Kuchork and I am from Beauvallon, Alberta. I was fortunate to do two placements this past year with Veterinarians Without Borders. My first placement was in Kenya and my second placement was in Uganda. I've been practicing now for six years in rural Alberta, but I gained some exposure to international veterinary work when I was a student. That was the first time I went to Uganda and I actually worked on a Vets Without Borders project and that ignited that passion that that's what I wanted to do. I spent the next six years out of vet school practicing but always thinking about how I was going to be able to do that. And so it was about a, a year ago that I received a call from a colleague who works a lot with Veterinarians Without Borders and she told me about an opportunity in Kenya and that was all it took. And I ended up quitting my job and I spent the last year doing some of these international placements. Traditionally, this area of Uganda is inhabited by people who were cattle herders. Cattle play a very important part of their life and they use them as like a currency. They're gifts and, and favors and exchange at weddings. A groom will give cows to his bride's family. And so the cow plays a really huge role in their life. They used it for meat, milk, hide, everything. So one of the opportunities is to help these people focus more on dairy production to realize a, a higher quality of life. One of the restrictions in the area was that there wasn't that much access to veterinary services. Veterinarians were quite few and far between, and so a lot of farmers, if they needed a veterinarian, they simply didn't have access to it. So we were working with other individuals that weren't veterinarians, but had some training in trying to help them become that in-between person that could help them. This last year has been very rewarding for me. It's made me want to continue doing international development work, so it's really ignited that passion. I want to continue doing it. It's also given me the desire to try to ignite that passion in other people and spread awareness about the projects that Vets Without Borders does and, and the opportunities out there. Animal health and human health and environmental health are all interdependent on each other and you can't have one if you don't have the others. As well as it's forced me to step out of my comfort zone. I think in any opportunity where you're you know, in a situation that's difficult or hard or challenging, it helps you grow as a person and that's very rewarding. So I hope to continue to have these opportunities in the future.